This I believe. Fatherhood just isn't for me. It's really kind of sad if you think about it. For the past millions of years, thousands of ancestors preceding me have successfully paired up with mates and have four children. Until now, this is where my bloodline ends. That's right, I never want kids. Now, before we begin on this existentialist organ trail, I want to get two things straight. This isn't some pity party for how I'm destined to be forever alone. Nor is this an I'm better than you for not contributing to the world's overpopulation speech. Rather, it's an admission of one of those intimate beliefs I keep locked away in the icebox that is my heart. The truth is, I'm a dot on the gradient somewhere between asexual and psychopath. But don't worry, I'm not on the violent type. I just don't feel emotion, which means I'm also unable to show affection. That's a bit of a problem. It would be in the qualifications part of a description for a husband, comma, father. Thus, I'm unqualified for the job. The last time I told my parents I loved them was grade school. And the last time I was in a relationship lasting longer than a month was 11th grade. I'm secretive to the point of being a pathological liar. I enjoy living alone to the point of being a hermit. And I've always wanted to die young or as my friend Henry calls it, leaving behind a good-looking corpse. I like to say that these beliefs have swirled in my mind since the day I entered the world. But that isn't true, because I distinctly remember sometimes flipping through a book of baby names some years ago and picking out ones like Cooper and Marlena and Brody. In any case, my father, the psychiatrist, says that these are the thoughts of someone who's been hurt. He says it's some sort of coping mechanism. I disagree. It just makes so much sense to remain single and childless. Having children seems impractical to me. From a financial standpoint, they're absolute money pits. All those bottles of baby formula and years of high school lunch money add up to an average of $226,920, reports CNN. They're messy, loud, and they watch animated television. The current world conflict and economic sitch seems like a terrible environment to raise children. But more importantly, I don't think I'd make a decent father by any stretch. As a dad, I'd probably value my job over my family, returning home most nights of the week around 9 p.m. after a few guinai. I would constantly fear that I was turning into my own father, or worse, that my child was turning into me. Because so let's face it, growing up, I was quite the self-loather. Or maybe he slash she would turn into a hipster, and that would be the worst thing of all. Because if there's one thing I absolutely can't stand, it's a fucking hipster. But that's a completely different story and something else that I believe in.